Uh, joining us right now is Eric Knutson. He is a multi-asset uh, chief investment officer at Newberger Berman. Good morning to you. Uh, I don't know if you heard what Jim and I were just talking about. Yeah. You look at a UPS, you also look at a GM on one side, then you got Pfizer on the other. I mean, the cross currents are everywhere. Where are you? Yeah, we would agree with uh, uh, what Jim Cramer was highlighting, that the markets have gotten ahead of themselves here, especially when you see some of the reactions of the, the non-profitable tech, uh, NASDAQ, et cetera. You know, our, our view remains that growth is going to slow, that there, that recession risk remains. And at the same time, the Fed and other central banks need to keep financial conditions tight. The Fed has observed that financial conditions have actually loosened since October, and they've hiked since then. So, you know, our view is that the Fed's going to going to keep at it. They're going to raise two, maybe three more times and keep rates uh, rates where they are through the year, unlike what the bond market thinks. And as you start seeing earnings slow, there's uh, more more trouble ahead, more volatility ahead for equity markets. OK, so but I, I think the question is, is it just the high flyers that we've seen actually, you know, rocket up even in the past couple of weeks that get taken down if if your assumption is right or does it take everybody with it? Uh, well, the high flyers suffer worse, but the overall market we think should should decline from here. Uh, you know, we think that earnings you're already seeing earnings expectations coming down to 30 uh, a share for this year to 225. We think those continue uh, to come lower. Um, and valuations at 18 times at these uh, interest rate levels we think are are a little rich. So you're not going to get help on the valuation side. You may get some more pressure there, especially as the Fed kind of and other central banks. Right. So, Eric, are you sitting in cash waiting for some moment to happen? I mean, timing has uh, always been a tough business to be in. Is there, is there some other trade or, or other investment that you think is uh, more valuable right now? So we do like cash and work away cash. Cash for the first time in 15 years is a valid allocation choice at 4.5%. We like short duration fixed income, short duration high yield, short duration emerging market debt. And we're beginning to add exposures in emerging market equity um, because if if we do get better growth than expected with tighter financial conditions, uh, EM should do relatively better. They're benefiting from China reopening. Um, so that's where we see better opportunity on the emerging market side. We're, we're underweight the dollar. We like commodities. What do you do about big tech? And I, I've been asking it all morning because I think there's a lot of folks who've been holding on, holding and hoping and waiting for things to turn. And the question is, at some point, do you give up the ghost? At some point, do you double down? Well, there's going to be a time for those stocks, but it's not now. We think that as rates remain high, as inflation is structurally higher, investors will value a dollar of earnings, a dollar of income now versus a dollar of income in the future. That's different than what we've seen for the last 15 years. But that means the, the big growers, the long duration stocks, um, will be less attractive for some time to come relative to quality value, quality dividend yielding, uh, lower beta stocks. 